Known around the world as one of the most legendary knots, the Prussic has earned its reputation in the climbing, rescue, and arborist communities. And these are the secrets of how this knot works, the proper way to tie it, and how you can apply this to everyday life, up your camping game, and learn a potentially life-saving application. Now the Prussic is a type of friction hitch, meaning when you pull tension on it, friction makes it bite down and hold in place. And then with no tension, it could slide freely, giving it some pretty unique applications. And while there are a number of different friction hitches out there, the Prusik is unique because it's omnidirectional, meaning it works the same no matter which direction you pull on it. It could also be attached mid-line on your rope and can be undone extremely easily. Now before I get into all the different uses, let's learn how to properly tie it and the knot's mechanics. We first create a loop of rope. To create that loop, we need to tie a bend, which connects both of these ends. Now there's a number of different bends we could tie here, but the one I'm going to focus on today is called the double fisherman's bend. Generally, this is what climbers will use because it's the most trusted and easy to check if you've done it right. To start, we take the two ends of our loop and cross them over one another. Focusing on one end at a time, we wrap it backwards over itself, and now we do one more wrap completely over itself. With that rope end, you simply go through those two loops and pull tight. You'll have something that looks like this with two definitive wraps here. Now we focus on the other end and do the exact same pattern. One wrap back on itself, followed by a second wrap back on itself, and the line through. Pull that tight, and both of these knots should now cinch up against one another. You'll see the tag ends are on opposing sides. Now you'll have a very secure loop like this, and it's time to tie your Prusik. An easy way to start is taking your connection knot and wrapping that around your main line and through the loop it's created. This pattern might be familiar to you as a girth hitch or a lark's head. Now we follow up with a second wrap, exactly like the first. Dress each wrap as you go, making sure the center loop comes down through the inner part and this horseshoe pattern is on the outside. We now do a third and final wrap exactly like the others, and again it's important you dress the knot, keeping that horseshoe on the outside and loop on the inside, so just correct it at this point if it's not like that. A side note is that for beginners, wrapping the knot around is the easiest way to get the hang of this. But as you get better and your skill improves, make sure that knot is slightly off-centered. This way the tension isn't all placed on that one knot, and it also makes it easier to attach and disattach objects to this. Now in rescue and belaying, this knot is attached to an anchor or the belayer themselves. Holding the rope, you can pull up slack or even hoist items, and if it were to slip or the blayer fall, the prusik would bite down and hold tight. Now in camping, the most popular use for this hitch in the outdoors is for attaching tarps to a ridgeline and being able to get that perfect tension. For this, you'll need two or three loops of rope. I usually keep a few prusik loops pre-assembled in my kit made from about 12 inches of paracord. The prusiks hang off your ridgeline and your tarps eyelets can attach right to them. You can now slide them wherever you want on your line and position or tension them perfectly. I personally love this setup because if the sun's out, you could take your tarp down easily and then if it's going to rain or overnight, you can put your tarp back up in a matter of seconds because your prussics are already in place. With this technique, you could also butt up tarps side by side really easily to make sure you get the perfect tension on both. Now you might be wondering how to attach the prussic to your tieouts, and it could be done in a number of different ways, all of which are pretty simple and straightforward. The easiest method is sliding that loop through and placing a stick on the other side like a toggle. And for most applications, this is going to work really well, but your safest bet is adding a carabiner. But you could also add a prusik without even having a loop. Just take both ends and cross them over, and now we're going to tie the prusik exactly how we would if those two ends were attached. Some people prefer this method, and there's a couple ways to attach your tieouts or tarps to it. The first is just tying an appropriate bend and connecting those two ends. Here I just tie a really simple square knot, right over left, left over right, and it gets the job done. Or if you want something that's pretty easy to disattach, we're going to create an overhand knot here, tighten it up, and now with the other line, create another overhand knot, but leave this one loose. We then grab hold of our tieout, feed the tightened overhand knot through the loop, and we're just gonna actually put that knot right through the looser one that we have. This is a sort of take on a soft shackle. It works really well and it's super easy to just undo if you need to release that or tie it to something else. Now the Prusik isn't just useful for belaying or tying tarps. There's a whole bunch of other uses. 
I like to hang my camp lighting with it, like this lantern for example. In the daytime I could slide it out of the way and at night I could slide it right back in place. And I frequently use it for cooking. I set a string attached to a pot that hangs over my fire. That string's connected to a taut line, a different friction hitch, so I could adjust up and down. I'll link my video on that one in the description below. But used in tandem with the Prusik, I could then slide that pot out of the way when everything's boiled. I've also used the Prusik in a bunch of bushcraft tasks. Recently I made a chair and had the Prusik along the poles on the side, making it completely adjustable. It's also one of the safest ways to hoist items. I could lift something up by removing the friction, and if it were to slip out of my hands, the Prusik grabs it, preventing it from falling, just like belaying in rope rescue. So some people use it to hoist bear bags or camping food up high. And lowering is as simple as holding the hitch and letting the line slide through, which can even be done single-handedly like this. And you could also use it as an anchor point to redirect a rope. Let's say you don't have an anchor point here, but want to redirect your tarp. Well, with the Prusik on the line, I can attach a third anchor, slide where I would like it, and that angles the tarp differently. And now we get into a potentially life-saving application, but I don't recommend this unless, of course, you are in that emergency situation. And one more thing to note with the Prusik, just like all friction hitches, the line that wraps around your main one, in this case, it's the Prusik line, that cordage has to be a thinner diameter than your main line in order for the friction and the biting down to actually work. Now, if you need to ascend a rope and you don't have any other options, this is a way to ascend a rope using a Prusik. Here I have a small Prusik loop that I've tied to my main line. This is going to be a foothold. So I could put my foot on it, it's going to hold tight, and I could step up. Now I have a much larger loop about the wingspan of my arms. I'll tie this one with a Prusik above the foothold loop. Now I'm tying a quick Spanish bowline in this one. I'm not going to go into details on that, but I'll link a video on how to tie that below. But this is going to create a harness loop. I put one leg into each of these loops, and this acts as a seat for me. Now that I'm ready to go, I'll slide my harness Prusik as high up as I can and sit down and apply my weight to it. You could see it's taken my complete weight, I'm going to slide down that foothold Prusik, put my foot in, and now step up as high as I can. This relieves tension off of the harness, and now I could slide that up a little bit higher, sit down again, and now I'm sitting higher than I was before. I slide the foothold up. Now I stick my foot back in that foothold and climb higher. And now I can repeat that process over and over. It's very slow, but it'll get you out of an emergency situation if you absolutely need it. Again, putting that foot through that foothold there, climbing up higher, sliding the harness Prusik up, and repeating that process. I hope you learned something today. I'm your friend DJ with The Bare Essentials, and thanks for stopping by.